Deep in the swampy woods near Falk, Arkansas, lives a creature like no other. It has terrified generations of locals. This creature is known as the Falk Monster. Various reports between 1971 and 1974 described it as being a large, bipedal creature covered in long, dark hair. It was estimated to be about 7 feet tall with a weight of 250 to 300 pounds. Later reports claimed that it was far larger, with one witness describing it as 10 feet tall, with an estimated weight of 800 pounds. Some accounts describe the Falk monster as running swiftly with a galloping gait and swinging its arms in a fashion similar to a monkey. Reports also describe it as having a terrible odor, the odor being described as a combination of a skunk and a wet dog, and as having bright red eyes about the size of silver dollars. A variety of tracks and claw marks have been discovered which are claimed to belong to the creature. One set of footprints reportedly measured 17 inches in length and 7 inches wide, while another appeared to show feet that only possessed three toes. Prior to the 20th century, several alleged sightings in the general area related to a large, hairy creature circulated in an 1851 report in the Memphis Enquirer and an 1856 report in the Caddo Gazette. In 1955, the creature was allegedly spotted by a 14-year-old boy who described it as having reddish-brown hair, sniffing the air, and not reacting when it was fired upon with birdshot. The Falk monster first made local headlines in 1971, when it was reported to have attacked the home of Bobby and Elizabeth Ford on May 2, 1971. According to Elizabeth Ford, the creature, which she initially thought was a bear, reached through a screen window that night while she was sleeping on a couch. It was chased away by her husband and his brother Don. During the alleged encounter, the Fords fired several gunshots at the creature and believed that they had hit it, though no traces of blood were found. An extensive search of the area failed to locate the creature, but three-toed footprints were found close to the house, as well as scratch marks on the porch and damage to a window in the house's siding. According to the Fords, they had heard something moving around outside late at night several nights prior but, having lived in the house for less than a week, had never encountered the creature before. The creature was allegedly sighted again on May 23, 1971, when three people, D.C. Woods, Wilma Woods, and Mrs. R.H. Sedgas, reported seeing an ape-like creature crossing U.S. Highway 71. More sightings reports were made over the following months by local residents and tourists who found additional footprints. The best-known footprints were found in a soybean field belonging to local filling station owner Scott Keith. They were scrutinized by game warden Carl Gallian, who was unable to confirm their authenticity. Like the Ford prints, they appeared to indicate that the creature had only three toes. The incident began to attract substantial interest after news spread about the Ford sighting. The Little Rock, Arkansas, radio station KAY posted a $1,090 bounty on the creature. Several attempts were made to track the creature with dogs, but they were unable to follow its scent. When hunters began to take interest in the Falk monster, Miller County Sheriff Leslie Greer was forced to put a temporary, no-guns policy in place in order to preserve public safety. In 1971, three people were fined $59 each for filing a fraudulent monster report. After an initial surge of attention, public interest in the creature decreased until it gained national recognition in 1973 when Charles B. Pierce released a docudrama horror film about the creature in 1972, The Legend of Boggy Creek. By late 1974, interest had waned again and sightings all but stopped, only to begin again in March 1978 when tracks were reportedly found by two brothers prospecting in Russellville, Arkansas. There were also sightings in Center Ridge, Arkansas. On June 26 of that same year, a sighting was reported in Crossett, Arkansas. During this period, the creature was blamed for missing livestock and attacks on several dogs. Since the initial clusters of sightings during the 1970s, there have been sporadic reports of the creature. In 1991, the creature was reportedly seen jumping from a bridge. There were 40 reported sightings in 1997, and in 1998, the creature was reportedly sighted in a dry creek bed five miles south of Falk. Sightings have been rare but those who claim to have encountered him speak of an otherworldly presence that leaves them in awe. Is he a mere myth, a figment of imagination? Or could there truly be a creature so elusive that it defies all attempts at capture or explanation? For in the untamed wilderness of the South, anything is possible, and the truth may be stranger than fiction.
Thank you for watching our exploration of the Falk monster. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tales of mystery and adventure.